Hello, Dr. Kadena. Uh, shooting another video, just kind of showing you a, a procedure that we do in the office. Uh, it's for people that have uh, abnormal bleeding. Uh, whenever there's abnormal bleeding, like heavy periods or clotting with periods, uh, we always worry about uh, problems of the uterus, including fibroids. Um, Sometimes people aren't ovulating, they can't get pregnant, things don't come out like they're supposed to, and, um, and it builds up and then people start having heavy flow. Uh, what we uh, have to rule out, make sure that's not there, is uh, cancer, uterine cancer. So the uterus is an organ that when she's not happy, she'll tell you with the type of bleeding that you're having. Um, so. Uh, if there's enough concern, or if we're going to take someone to surgery, which uh, we're planning on doing uh, to do a hysterectomy, um, then we have to make sure we don't like surprises. So we have to make sure that there's nothing unusual there. So when you get the final results, you don't get a surprise like, oh, someone has cancer. So what we're doing today is basically looking inside where the bleeding comes from uh, with a device called a, a hysteroscope. So this is uh, we're doing in the office. Um, you can go to surgery. Uh, there's more cost uh, involved when you go to surgery. Uh, it is outpatient, but you have to see more people, people asking questions. Uh, probably takes up at least half of your day. Uh, have general anesthesia, which you know can have side effects and risks with it. Um, so with this, you'll see that it's fairly quick. As long as everything looks pretty normal, it's about a couple of minutes. So we've uh, prepared the patient with uh, some medications that relax her. Uh, we put a little anesthesia in place and we're ready to uh, perform what's called the hysteroscopy. So oscopy means camera, hyster, uterus. We're looking inside the uterus and if everything's normal, we'll remove the scope and then uh, take a sample called endometrial biopsy. The lining is called the endometrium. We'll take a sample, send it off to the lab, hopefully get good news, um, and then uh, move on with the next step uh, to take care of her problems. Um, people do endometrial biopsies in the office uh, blindly, not looking inside the uterus, but it, it gives you limited information. It just rules out cancer. Uh, this does produce some discomfort, which is somewhat helpful if people are having really bad pain with their periods when we start doing the procedure. If they start having the same symptoms that they do with their periods, it tells me that that's where uh, the issue is in that organ. So being awake is helpful also to give me more information. Also looking directly inside uh, gives me uh, immediate idea of whether there's Something to be more concerned about. So anyways, we're going to get started with the procedure. But this is a little camera. It's pretty tiny. It has a little light at the end that we pass into the uterus. Um, and you'll be able to hopefully see on the screen. Uh, we're going to shift over to that side and be able to see the screen without showing her face. All right, so we're going to focus on the screen. And turn the lights out. And so, see if I can clear up the image. Alcohol swab. Okay, and I'm going to focus here, and you can watch if you want on the video. So this is the actual uh, cervix, the tip of the cervix. Uh, if you imagine the uterus and the female organ, the uterus, it looks like a pear. So that little opening there is where the stem of a pear would be. 
So we have grabbed it with the little instrument so we can uh, manipulate it a little bit and we're going to try to go in there and then we'll wind up going into the uterus. Okay, so that's the entry point. When you have a pap smear, there's a sample that you get from this area. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so here we go. You might feel a little bit of cramps. So we're actually try to focus here a little bit. So I'm going to take this uh, speculum out. Hopefully we won't pinch you. Good job. You're doing great. And we're advancing into uh, the top part of the pair, basically the what we call the endometrial cavity. Okay. And usually when we get there, I can feel um, that we're in the right place. We just uh, have a little bit less resistance when we get there. You might feel some cramps. Okay, so we're going to uh, put a little bit of a special water and as the uterus expands you might have some cramps okay so this is going to open up things up inside this is where sometimes people start cramping and we can uh, get a better idea of what's going on now just with what I'm feeling I can tell that her uterus is a, a decent size so here we are I'm going to focus and this is the inside of the uterus. So we usually like to see it nice and smooth. Uh, on this side, you can see the opening to the uh, left fallopian tube. Uh, there might be a little polyp there, a little skin that's floating around. And then the other fallopian tube is up in this corner. Now, she has an IUD in place, so that's interesting. There's the IUD. The ultrasound uh, that was done did not show an IUD, but it is there. And it is where it's supposed to be. So that actually is not a polyp, but the interesting thing is you're getting to actually see what an IUD looks like inside of the uterus. So people say it erodes into the wall of the uterus. No, it's just floating in there, just like this one is. So while we're here, uh, we're going to decide if we're going to take it out or if we're going to leave it. But there's the string of the IUD and we're going to come out. And it overall looks pretty thin and nice. Okay, so that's it. We're done with the, what's called hysteroscopy. I'm going to take this out. It took us, I don't know, one or two minutes and we're done. Um, the patient will get dressed and she'll go home. So she didn't need general anesthesia or anything like that you didn't have to see a lot of people asking questions comes in um, we do it a couple of minutes and goes home we have instant information of what's going on inside and we get the sample and get the job done in I don't know total time 30 minutes let's say the procedure itself a couple of minutes uh, so that's called Office histeros could be endometrial biopsy. We're about to do the biopsy. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, check out the other videos. Thanks.